Uh, Shannon inspires me as a leader. Um, she leads by example. She doesn't hesitate to take on any task, whether it's you know picking up around the yard at the YW, cleaning the locker rooms, or doing something as important as meeting with legislators about our funding needs. So um, that's just inspiring because she gets right in there and, and does what needs to be done. Um, she has high expectations of herself when she leads. and also of the rest of us, which I think is, is great. It's empowering to know that those expectations are there and that she trusts us to do the job that, that we need to do. Um, Shannon inspires me because she leads with humor. Um, we can you know, sometimes have a pretty um, heavy day at the YW taking on some of the, the duties and the tasks that we and our mission work there. And um, it can be a little bit stressful and she brings humor to that even on a stressful day and we'll break out in a rendition of you know, <laughs> let it go to remind us that sometimes we need to let it go or um, to motivate us with her spirit sprinkles that she um, will use to you know remind us that hey you got this you, you've got the skills and I trust you and you know we are empowered to get this job done um, Shannon is fearless as a leader and that's inspiring because she just tackles these jobs head-on and when she took on the new job as executive director at the YW, I mean, that's, that's a big job, that's a big task. And um, she did what she needed to do to get that job done and do it well. And she, you know, she's not afraid to learn new skills yeah. when it needs to be done. So she does that too and pursues new knowledge and to better the organization and better herself. Um, she's a leader that's driven by passion and that's evident in all that she does and how she guides us and how she directs the organization. She's dedicated to the mission, has a real passion for it. That's how Shannon inspires me. Um, Shannon inspires me because she is a, <clears throat> excuse me, she gives of her gifts just um, selflessly. And the biggest gift I think that she gives right now in her position is she gives her gifts of time. And she is never afraid to volunteer to do something. Um, and she never stops to weigh the cost to herself. She says, okay, this is an important mission, this is an important thing that we need to do, and I will do that. I will find a way, um, as I do all of these other things, I will find a way to do this also. Um, you know, there's an example that I can think of that we were sitting in a committee together and talking about a very important goal, and it came time to volunteer for that goal, and everyone else kind of averted their eyes and looked down, and I watched Shannon, and Shannon um, looked around and thought, this won't get done unless someone volunteers and then she decided that she would be the person to volunteer and when she volunteers I'm sure everyone just has a sigh of relief because they know that she will do it and will do it well and will put her all behind it um, and so that's always kind of inspiring to me to know that she is just such a worker um, another thing that Shannon gives freely of is that she gives up her gift of knowledge that she knows a lot about the YW and how it works and she knows a lot about other aspects of society and how they influence the work of the YW um, and you know I can remember when we were 19 years old going to door to door for the ERA and and being so passionate about that mission of equal rights for women and equal rights for everyone and the disenfranchised and how we used to stay up at night and talk about those things and that we wanted to do something about that and Shannon is doing something about that now and it's just amazing to me um, that she has come so far and she does so much and she works so tirelessly for those things. Um, so that's how she inspires me.